And just when you thought there couldn't be anything else to make you love Greenville, South Carolina more, I am bringing it to you today. We're gonna to be talking about the top industries in the Greenville, Spartanburg area, as well as the top employers. Get ready to take some notes because we have a lot of information for you today. Welcome to Living in Greenville, South Carolina. Welcome back everyone. We are so glad that you are here today. I am thrilled to share this information with you about the top industries and the top employers in the Greenville Spartanburg area. Now, if you're looking to move here and you need to find a job, you are going to love this information. Even if you're not looking for a job, this information is invaluable to know about the area in the Greenville Spartanburg surrounding areas. Now, this of course is the entire upstate and this is some fantastic information. First of all though, I would ask you to be sure to click the subscribe button. Also hit that bell so you'll get those notifications of when we have new videos on here. And be sure to like and comment. I would love your comments along the way. There's particularly one of these that I'm gonna share with you today that may be shocking to you. A, a lot of people think, tend to think that Greenville could be a very sleepy town just a small southern town, what could we really offer here? Well, let me just tell you that we are a very metropolitan city in this entire upstate region. There's a lot of small towns around us, but when it comes to Greenville proper, we have industries from all over the world and we represent a ton of different job opportunities, but the actual industries in the area are going to, to absolutely blow you away. First of all, let me say that in South Carolina, textiles used to be a huge part of our economy. That is something that really drove the economy across the state for many, many years, like decades. And unfortunately, all of those textile jobs mostly have gone overseas. The textile mills have closed. Those That machinery and equipment had actually created a sub-industry that was selling or brokering those machines and the machinery over to like in places like India, China, and those kind of things, other Bangladesh and, and many other countries. So once we saw textile move out, of course, some under, other industries had to come in. Now, of course, as you know from my Judson Mill video, that a lot of the old mills are actually being turned into fantastic living and working and playing opportunity spaces. Absolutely wonderful. So they're really cool. You'll want to check that out when you come to our area. But now, moving on from textiles, even though we do still have Millican Industries here, like a huge industry, a uh, huge company that was in the textile machinery and textile production uh, innovation, really, kind of a leader in that. They're still here and they are doing great things in the textile industry, just a little different rather than making the products here locally. So now we've moved on to many other industries, and again, some of which might surprise you. I'm bringing you this information from an article that comes through a subscription service called Greenville Today. It's available through the 6AM City Company, fantastic media company that gives tons of information about a lot of different cities, not just Greenville. I encourage you to be sure and subscribe to it, especially if you live here, but also if you're going to move to this area, because it's going to give you tons of information about the area that maybe you didn't know. I even learned stuff from this, and I know this area like the back of my hand, but lots of events they cover. They're packed with news and information absolutely a wonderful newsletter to subscribe to. So this particular uh, article was written by Emily Shea, Laura Hackett, and Danielle Johnson, and this was released on April 11th of 2023. I wanted to bring this information to you because I think it's very significant, and you're gonna learn about the biggest industries and employers across the Greenville area, and also a little bit of Spartanburg, of course, because as we've talked about before, like in the pros and cons video, and also in the Why Greenville video, I talked a lot about uh, BMW, and of course BMW is a huge part of our economy here in the upstate, but we'll get to that in just a few minutes. We're gonna start with the top six industries and the key industries here across the upstate, and they really are fantastic. Let's take a look at those now. We're gonna start with number one, the advanced materials industry. Now it talks about Greenville's foundation of advanced manufacturing here 
and with a focus on developing advanced materials. Of course, those include composites, polymers, metal alloy, and nanomaterials. According to the Greenville Area Development Corporation, which is a fantastic resource, again, to find out information about industry and the economy in Greenville, uh, they say that the Greenville workplace has the infrastructure, the research initiatives, and a collaborative environment that makes it a great area to develop materials important for other industries, just like these that we've, that I've just mentioned. So advanced materials, that's the number one key industry. Number two, not surprising, is the automotive industry with 120 plus automotive organizations and over 30,000 plus employees. The automotive industry in this area is, a, you know, it's basically a predominant cluster around the BMW manufacturing plant, which is BMW Spartanburg. That is located actually in Spartanburg County, but in Greer, in the city of Greer. So uh, its suppliers across the upstate make up a huge part of this industry. And because of BMW, I would say that that is one of the biggest industries that we have here because when you've got all the suppliers supporting this huge company like BMW, it's absolutely incredible. Now again, be sure and check out the pros and cons video and the Why Greenville video because you're gonna find out, I think it's also in the Greer video, you're gonna find out that BMW is a huge manufacturing plant, not only for the X series for the all the SUVs that they ship all over the world and locally, but also they are actually coming into now the production of the electric vehicle uh, for BMW and they're partnering with a company in Woodruff, which is in Spartanburg County, to do the batteries. So you can see how the tentacles of BMW and its suppliers can reach all over the upstate area. Absolutely a fantastic addition to our economy. Now, number three on the list, and I want you to comment below. Comment as to what you think the third biggest industry could be here in the upstate, and I think it's gonna surprise you. Again, it starts with an A. We've got advanced materials so far, number one, automotive number two. Now, we are going to talk about aviation and aerospace. Now, this is going to reach down to Charleston as well, what we're gonna be talking here, uh, because Lockheed Martin chose the upstate, Greenville, South Carolina, actually near the Malden area, for its final assembly of the F-16 Block 70. How cool is that? And then also you've got down in Charleston, Boeing's final assembly facility for the 787. And I think that is remarkable that we've got these incredible world related industries here in the upstate. Absolutely wonderful and in Charleston. Now on to number four, we've got the biosciences, which is very cool. And it's actually very advanced here as well. The pharmaceutical and medical device companies that call the upstate home. You can think of uh, like Bosch and Lomb, Nutra Manufacturing, International Vitamin Corporation, plus partnerships with Clemson University established the Upstate as a foundation for the biosciences organization. Now this really is substantial. Again, we've got incredible industries. Next we have Number four, data centers. And according to the Greenville Area Development Corporation, Greenville offers a number of advantages for data center operations from an ideal location with a low disaster risk to highly educated workforce. So again, another big industry here in the upstate and lots of companies that support this particular industry. Now our final big industry that we wanna talk about is headquarters and offices, like home offices. They are located here in Greenville, South Carolina. Greenville is home to 40 plus Fortune 500 companies and 20 plus headquartered operations, plus 240 plus international companies like Michelin. Think Michelin and many other companies that happen to be in this area. Also, Spartanburg has a very large concentration of companies from all around the globe, like Germany and other countries as well. So absolutely an incredible environment to find almost any job you could imagine. By the way, we have the largest industrial concentration of businesses in the entire state. So we really are an incredible area for jobs, business, and industry growth. Now, Greenville's pro-business environment, according to this article, quality workforce and the market accessibility make it marketable to companies across the world. So it really 
is a fantastic environment overall for business and great economy. What we want to look at right now are the major players. Who are those major players? Who are the major companies that contribute most to the economy here in the upstate and to the job opportunities? Well, of course, you can guess it. Yes, number one, BMW with over 11,000 plus employees on site, plus many more support employees there that are not employed directly by BMW. So you've actually got, for what I understand, almost over 17 to 20,000 people on the actual site of the plant Spartanburg. But then you've also got tons of jobs across uh, South Carolina because of their supporting BMW and that is somewhere around the number of 43,000 jobs across the state. So really a remarkable, remarkable opportunity here in the Greenville area. Number two, Prisma Health with over 10,000 plus employees. This is the health services, obviously one of the bigger hospitals in the area and it is very spread out across the area. Now Prisma Health is South Carolina's largest private nonprofit healthcare system across the state. There are locations here and in Columbia. And if you are looking for a healthcare job in the area, please let me know, reach out to me specifically because I also work with lenders that actually give healthcare worker uh, loans on houses, give you mortgages on houses. So if you're a healthcare worker, if you're a doctor, if you're a nurse, any first responders, all that good stuff, reach out to me. I'm going to connect you to those lenders that can get you those special loans, a lot of which are 100% financing. And Prisma Health would be a fantastic place to start as far as a career here in the upstate of Greenville, Greenville, Spartanburg upstate. Next, we have Greenville County Schools, again, with over 10,000 plus employees. Same thing, if you're a teacher and you're in public education, there are plenty of jobs here, but also I can connect you with lenders that are gonna give us special loans and programs to get mortgages for teachers and educators. So this is a very exciting opportunity as well. Please reach out, please comment below, let me know, and I will help you find what you're looking for here in the upstate. The Greenville County School District is the largest school district in South Carolina and the 44th largest in the U.S. Now, please be sure and check out my Greenville County Schools video. I did that, wanted to feature that earlier this year. So there's lots of information about the schools in that video as well. Now here's another big player and the last on this list in this article, and that is Michelin North America. Of course, it is a very large size corporation here, 5,000 to 10,000 employees, manufacturing, research and development, that's the niche that they, that they really cover. And Michelin, of course, is a top selling tire brand worldwide. They design and distribute tires and services for customers, and they do a lot of that from right here in Greenville, South Carolina. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today covering the top industries and the top employers here in the Greenville Spartanburg area because it's invaluable information that I wanted to make sure that you had so that you could make that educated choice when moving here to the upstate of South Carolina. Now I would tell you that any place is great to live here. You could live in Spartanburg County, Greenville County, and you can benefit from all of the, these great industries mentioned here today. If you have any questions about this, please reach out. Be sure to click the like button subscribe and please leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions about these opportunities or if there's anything specific that I could help you with or help you find out more information. Uh, I am so thrilled that you watched this today. Thank you for watching this channel and I look forward to seeing you living in Greenville, South Carolina.